Hi, I'm Nick. And I'm Victoria. We made Connected Pin. Yeah, so the last tutorial for the old version was, was almost an hour long. Yeah, let's not do that again. Yeah. But a lot has changed. It's way easier to install, and we've totally overhauled the capture process, and we've automated the workflow as much as possible. You don't have to write any code now. Yeah, you can now rig and animate a character by pressing four buttons. And it's 3D. Well, two and a half D. Either way, your characters can face each other instead of the camera. That's a big deal. There are now two parts to connect a pin, a standalone app for motion capture and a UI panel for After Effects. Once you've installed everything, getting your character moving is a three-step process. Capture your track and connect a pin, import it into a template in After Effects, and connect your character layers. It's actually that easy. Let's do a quick walkthrough. First, you need to capture your motion with the connect to pin application. Plug in your connect, launch the app, and click record. And once you're calibrated, it'll start tracking your skeleton. Now open up the connect to pin UI panel in After Effects. Start by creating a rigging template. If you have CS 5.5 and up, you can use the 3D version. This feature creates a new comp containing a layer for the mocap data to live on, a set of control nulls for you to connect your character to, and if you're using the 3D version, it creates a camera for adjusting the angle and position of your puppet. It also adds all the relevant smoothing, scaling, and layer space transformation expressions automatically. Next, load your motion tracks XML file by clicking Import 2D or 3D mocap data. You can also import your data by saving it as a text file from the connect to pin application and pasting in the keyframes. Next, import or create your character layers. If you use shape layers, make sure to pre-compose those before you rig. The next step is the only bit you still have to do manually. Add puppet pins to the joints on your character layers and rename them to match the control nulls you want to connect them to. Click Rig Puppet Layers and everything should snap into place. Don't worry if it looks a little wonky at this point, just scale things down to fit. Now rename the head, hand, and foot layers to match the control nulls, but add underscore layer to the end of the name. Adjust their anchor points so that they pivot the right way, and click the Rig Head, Hands, and Feet button to connect your remaining character layers to the control nulls. These will now rotate automatically, but you can keyframe custom rotation on top of that too. If you're using the 3D setup, adjust the camera so your tracking data matches the viewing angle for your character. And if you need to reposition a source pin to fit the shape of your character, simply move its control null. Any adjustments you make will be maintained, even if you replace the motion track entirely. We hope you'll find this new version a lot easier to use, and you can always find the latest version of the app at connectpin.foxgig.com.